Have you ever wondered which one social media platform is the best choice for you and your business and worth your time? If yes, just keep watching this video because I'm going to answer this question. Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Welcome to my channel, I'm Nelly, I'm entrepreneur, business and social media expert and content creator. In today's episode, we're going to talk about social media platforms and which of them we should focus on in 2023. Okay, first, we know that each platform has its features and specifications, but in today's video, we're going to discuss the most popular of them so you can choose the best one for you as a content creator or business owner. Because, let's be real, we cannot focus on all the platforms there on the internet. However, we have strong strategies for posting on multiple platforms efficiently. In my opinion, which is based on experience and little research, we should focus on just four social media platforms plus other channels like blogs, newsletters, and for sure email marketing, which we are not talking about in this video. If you have a business, it's good to be on Twitter because first of all, the total number of people going on Twitter is nearly three times larger than the number of registered users. And this means that you're not just reaching Twitter users when you tweet or post something on Twitter, but you're going beyond and you're also reaching wider audience of non-members who also read Twitter. And yes, that's pretty good for your business. I was wondering actually how to structure this episode to be the most effective and I decided to share advantages and disadvantages of each of the platforms that we're going to discuss. Plus, I'm going to be sharing the websites which I used for research. So you can see and read more information about this topic. So the benefits of Twitter are the following. As we already said, Twitter has a large user base that could include your potential clients. Using hashtags can help you reach an audience in a particular topic or in a particular location. The second benefit is that the platform allows direct two-way communication between your customers. Because it's a public interaction, if you do it well, it shows your business in a positive light. Twitter can be also a useful resource for gathering feedbacks from your customers and the cost can be zero. It's free to set up a Twitter account and while paid ads are also available, many businesses see benefits from organic posts and interactions. Now, the challenges or kind of disadvantages in Twitter is that, of course, if you go organic, it takes commitment and time, but that's about all the platforms on social media. So you just take decision to be online, to build community or not. And on Twitter, customers could complain publicly about product or service and negative comments can reflect badly on your business. However, dealing with complaints will can have a positive impact on your reputation. And the other is unless you tweet at the right time and your followers are online, your tweet can easily be just miss. One limitation that I see is that you're restricted by Twitter's 208 character limit. However, the fact that Twitter has a large amount of users and even non-users that get to know about your brand and business, this is a big reason why you should take advantage of it and learn to develop a strong account. So it's worth it. The next platform we are going to talk about is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network on internet. You can use LinkedIn to find the right job or internship, company or service, connecting and strengthen professional relationships. LinkedIn can benefit one's career or boom the popularity of one's business as per the following merits. First, it's free. It's free for starting up an account on LinkedIn. You can also pay for a premium membership. However, your free account does offer almost everything that you might need at the beginning of your research. LinkedIn is a very suitable platform for business because you can find exactly who or 
what you're looking for as a service. But maybe if you're a content creator, I think other platforms are the most suitable for you. There's a one minus that I see in my opinion on LinkedIn. It's about content surplus. Okay, LinkedIn is a best platform for sharing tips or articles. However, with a surplus of content, their audience might be overwhelmed and eventually losing interest in the LinkedIn page of those companies. So you can be aware of that and you can balance with your content because, okay, users go to LinkedIn to search for something particular, for example, but they can fed up with it because it's, in my opinion, it might be very dry content and maybe a little bit boring. That's my opinion. My conclusion here is that despite of disadvantages, it's really worth using LinkedIn for your business. Now we are moving to Meta's platforms, which includes Facebook and Instagram. I think that every business have to use as marketing tool as a brand. Meta's total monthly users for its family of apps, it's 3.71 billion worldwide. Yes, that speaks a lot. And maybe you've already decided to develop your brand awareness and promote your products or services on Meta's platforms, and that's good choice. So I think to not talk a lot about Meta's platform, as I said, you should use it. And here the big advantage is that Facebook and Instagram can be connected together, your page on the bot platform, and you can run the bot at the same time. Just so you go to account centers on Facebook and you can connect whatever page you want. And this makes it easy for running the bot apps together and posting at the same time. We are coming to the most discussed and maybe popular platform these days, and this is TikTok. TikTok has over 650 millions of users worldwide. And you know that this is quite a young platform. And this amount, it's really impressive. But a lot of brands are wondering if TikTok is a platform that is trustworthy. First reason for this kind of thinking of the brands is that the users of TikTok are quite young audience and kind of maybe disadvantage here is that it's just one type of format and it's video but also it just changed the game on social media because Instagram it's following this trend and is changing the things a lot by creating reels format maybe the platform at first was such for fun like you know it has many dancing singings etc etc but i think this trend is really changing since i see much and much more educational content on tiktok one of the most disadvantages of the platform is that maybe the audience is not so loyal as the audience on instagram and facebook for example or even youtube on the other hand there is a big advantage for having peace of presence in your business on this platform. Just because you could reach the younger audience that is far away from the traditional advertising like TV or radio and etc. So you should consider your presence on TikTok, especially if you're an e-commerce business. And we're going to one of the favorite platforms for creators or even businesses, and this is YouTube. YouTube is a long content platform Maybe someone will say that it's an obstacle for some of users that don't like or don't have time for such a long form content. In fact, if you have a specific niche that is educational on some particular topic, people who are interested in it for sure will make time watch your videos simply because they have value to them. But the good news and the best thing for YouTube is that it's not only long-form video platform anymore, but also short-form video platform, just like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. And that makes YouTube so competitive platform. Now your chance it's even larger because someone can easily find you through your short-form 
content. So I definitely recommend YouTube for being part of your marketing strategy, your business as a brand in 2023.